Hi, I'm Klaus Crow from GuitarHabits.com and today I'm gonna show you a nice blues finger style arrangement. Let's check it out. For this arrangement we use the thumb for the low E string, the A string and the D string. We use the index finger for the G string, the middle finger for the B string and the ring finger for the high E string. So whenever I say plug a B string you use your middle finger, whenever I say play the A string you use your thumb and so on. So we're starting with the first two measures. So we're starting with our first finger on the G string 1st fret, our second finger on the D string 2nd fret, and your third or your fourth finger on the B string 3rd fret. And you get yourself an E7 chord. Okay, so we're starting with the thumb on the low E string twice, and then you pluck the G and the B string simultaneously low E string again then you remove your first two fingers from the strings and you move down your fourth finger a half step so half step down so it's on the B string second fret then you pluck the G and B string again then back to your E7 chord pluck G and B string again low E and D. So play that slow. And measure number two. Again, we got that E7 chord. Plug the G and B string, low E, remove the two fingers, fourth finger on the B string, second fret, plug G and B, back to the E7 chord, plug G and B, and then low E, D, B, G. So measure number two goes like this. So the first two measures again, slowly. Moving on to measure three and four. So, starting with that E7 chord, first finger on the G string 1st fret, second finger on the D string 2nd fret, and your third or fourth finger on the B string 3rd fret. Starting with the thumb on the low E string twice, and then you plug the higher three strings, the G, B and high E string, simultaneously. So again, low E twice, Plug the higher three strings, then another low E, then remove your first two fingers, move down a half step your, your fourth finger or third, uh, so it's on the B string second fret, plug the three strings again, back to your E7 chord, plug the higher three strings again, and low E twice. 
So again, slowly. Again. And measure number four. Put your third finger on the B string. Third fret, fourth finger on the G string, fourth fret. Plug the G, B and high E string again, simultaneously. Low E. Move down those two fingers a half step. Plug the three strings again. Move, move up a half step again. Plug three strings. And then you go E, G, high E, B. So I'm playing that whole measure. Now I'm playing measures number three and four. Oh, sorry. Um, Again, slowly. And first, let's play the first four measures. So from the top. move on to measure number five. We're starting with an A7 chord. So you put your first finger on both D, G and B string. So you bar those three strings, the D, G and B string. And then you put your second finger on the high E string, third fret. And you get your seven, A7 chord. And then with your thumb, we hit the A string twice. Then you plug the B and high E string simultaneously twice. So A twice, B and high E twice. And you do that twice. <laughs> Then again, A string twice, then you move down your A7 chord a half step, like that. Pluck the B in high E again, move your chord a half step up again, pluck it again, B in high E, and then A, G, high E, B. So measure number six is Playing measure number five and six together. Measures number seven and eight. Um, measure number seven is exactly the same as measure number one. Yes, so. Again, you start with that E7 chord, low E twice, plug the G and B simultaneously, low E, remove the first two fingers, fourth finger half step down, so it's on the B string second fret, plug the G and B, back to your E7 chord, plug G and B, and then E and D. So measure number eight, we put our first finger on both G, B and high E string. And then you put your third finger 
on the B string 9 fret. Sounds like that. Plug the G, B and high E string, the higher three strings, simultaneously. Then low E. Move this chord a half step down, like that. Plug the three strings. Move it up again. Again, plug those three strings. And then low E, G, high E, B. So playing the entire measure. Playing measure seven and eight together. Okay, um, let's play it from the top again. Measures one till eight. to measure number nine starting with a B7 chord so you put your first finger on the D string first fret your second finger on the A string second fret third finger on the G string second fret and your fourth finger on the high E string second fret that's a B7 chord and then we go A D G high E B G B Again, A, B, A, B, G, high E, B, G, B. Like that. Then moving on to measure number 10. We're playing A7 chord, a different A7 chord. Second finger on the D string, second fret, and your third finger on the B string, second fret. And then you play A string, D string, plug the G and B string simultaneously. A. Then put your fourth finger here on the B string, third fret, next to the third finger. So your fourth finger is on the B string, 3rd fret, then you pluck G and B again, then you remove your 4th finger here, pluck G and B again, and then D. So playing measure number 10, slowly. the D, that final D here, I'm playing that with my index finger here. So for next measure I can play my thumb on the low E. That's easier. So again. And then low E. So that low E is for the next measure. Again, slowly. Okay, measure number 11. Uh, sorry, I'm going first going to play measure 9 and 10 together. is for the 11th and the 12th measure um, starting with measure number 11 first we're putting our third finger on the A string 5th fret and our fourth finger on the B string 5th fret 
first that low E again, and then we go A, B, A. Then you remove your third finger here, and you put your second finger on the fourth fret A string. Again, we go A, B, A. Remove your second finger and put your first finger on the A string third fret. Again, we go A, B, A. Uh, yes, A, B, A. So, playing the whole measure, measure 11 again, low E, and then. Okay, measure number 12, first finger on the A string, second fret, then an open A string, first finger on the A string, first fret, then you play that B7 chord again, with the first finger on the D string, first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret, third finger on the G string, second fret, and fourth finger on the high E string, second fret, and then you're playing A, G, B, G. So the last measure goes like this. Measures 11 and 12, here we go. Okay, I'm going over the entire arrangement from the top, slowly, as slowly as I possibly can. Okay, here we go. Repeat it. Playing it in loop. Over and over. Check out the tabs on guitarhabits.com. I hope you like the arrangement and see you next time.